Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be undergoing a Would You Rather Hockey Edition. I think there's also some physical exercise component attached to this based on which one you choose. Um, I will not be partaking in that part. Might do a couple jumping jacks here and there. We'll see. Is that a thing though? Or is this a one of a kind? Or is it because it's a hockey Would You Rather that there's some sort of physical component to it? I'm not really sure. But anyway, um... Let's do this. All right, here we go. Hockey, would you rather warm up? Oh, it's like a warm up. Okay, I see. I see. I got you. Um, so first of all, literally could not ask an easier question. Whomst is using their ocular cavity to stare down these two options and going, this guy right here just hit me with a stone cold stunner and take it out. Don't need it. I've heard some stories about root canals. Those don't sound fun. I just recently got my wisdom teeth out. Relatively recently, I should say. And, you know, eating just doesn't feel right. Break a skate all day. Let's see what we got here. One second. Okay, so break a tooth. How about that? I'll do some jumping jacks for you. Boom. There we go. Ow. All right, here we go. Next one is going to be score a goal or block a goal. This one's harder than I thought it was going to be. I think I got to go with score a goal. Saving a goal would be cool and all. But I feel like it's forgotten a lot faster when you score a goal like Patrick Kane's Stanley Cup winning goal. It is ingrained in history. Sure, maybe Holtby's save in the Golden Knights Stanley Cup final was seen as like a game changer, turning point, stuff like that. But I feel like the goals are definitely remembered more frequently. I've also only ever been a player. I've never played goalie in real life, like actually committed to it, you know? So, probably a little bit of bias there. Let's see what we got here. Score a goal is going to be... <laughs> what even is that? All right, here we go. Next. What is up with the next would you rather? Fall on your face or fall on your bottom? Bottom. Well, actually, it sort of depends on the scenario. I need some more specifics here because... If you're falling down on your face, at least you got your hands and stuff to sort of pad you as you're going down. I've seen some nasty tailbone landings that don't look like a good time. This might be the first time I change my answer. Yeah, I'm going to go with fall on your face just because you can cushion yourself on the way down easier. Remember when I said, I, okay, I'm not doing that. I have this sit stand desk and obviously I'm up right now. So actually, you know what? I will do it. I'll be right back. I'm doing it, I swear. Hit me. Give me another question. Once again, this might be easier than the tooth one, honestly. Anytime I go to an event that has a Jumbotron, I try to be as boring as possible. Keep me off of that thing. Sitting in the penalty box isn't that bad. You know, the skate over kind of sucks, but you just get a little like two minute timeout and then you're, you're back in the game. The Jumbotron though, the whole stadium or arena is seeing that thing. And you know what? Sitting in the sin bin might be insinuating that I'm playing professional hockey, which means I'm getting paid to play hockey, so I'm in. And if it's just like a beer league game or something, then who cares? But, you know, because the Jumbotron is there, I'm thinking maybe they're trying to correlate and you're a professional hockey player. But even so, I'm taking it if it's beer league over being on a Jumbotron. I'll still sit in the penalty box. Get out of here, Mike. Here we go. One... Before we get to the next question here, what do we got? Be a hockey player. <laughs> I thought these were supposed to be hard. I'm not even going to sit here and get into detail about this one. Hockey player all day long. Being a referee just seems like a complete nightmare. I'm out. Be a head coach or be a mascot? I think I'd rather be a head coach. I don't know if I'd be a good one. I definitely wouldn't be a good mascot, though. I'd be hiding away from everybody, most likely. Play outside or play inside? Okay, but again, can we get some specifics here, please? The pictures here are kind of off-putting because, to me, it looks like one, you're a professional player, and the other, you're a be a pro cutscene. An opening cutscene, to be more exact. So I'm gonna say that in neither circumstance, are you a professional hockey player? But you're playing outside or inside. So playing outside in the winter on like a pond or just a, a made rink. 
Really great feeling. I can't lie. I do like to play hockey inside, obviously. But outside is a more rare occurrence. So I feel like I'm leaning towards that one. Lock it in. That is my answer. What do we got here? I just got to go for a run. Is that what I got to do? Would you rather win the Stanley Cup, win the MVP award? You can win the MVP award without being a Stanley Cup champion. So I'm going to take the Stanley Cup. Oh, but the thing is though, if you win the MVP award, you're obviously most likely a superstar of some kind. You're going to be making some big dollaronis. Where if you win the Stanley Cup, you could be making league minimum. And either way, your name is cemented forever because you'll be attached to that trophy. Nah, give me the Stanley Cup. I don't care. Oh, okay. I guess we have gone through all of them. That wasn't too many. You know what? I feel like it is sort of a niche market. But if you could make high quality videos like this and do just a regular would you rather a bunch of hockey ones. I think they would do pretty well. Just throwing ideas out there. If you guys know how to produce videos, have at it. Because when I looked up hockey, would you rather, all I got was this video and some website that was like a poll thing and it definitely was not very visually appealing. So obviously I went with the video. Yeah, let me know how much we matched up. Did we have a lot of the same answers? Were you different on most of them? If you were, you're wrong and that's okay. Yeah, I just wanted to try something different that wasn't the NHL video game because we're getting very close to the release of the next installment. So the current game is extremely stale at this point. Might as well try something else. So if you have other ideas like this, go ahead, let me know, please because I need ideas right now. I'm still not really sure if I have perfectly got the setup going the way I want it to. I still kind of want more in the background, but right now just got the lights and I had to change the angle of the camera because last time I was recording, you couldn't even see my eyes. The glasses just glared insanely. They could be doing that right now, but I hope they're not. Well, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you. I will see you soon.